What's good y'all, your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I wanted to talk to y'all about something. Uh, this has actually been on my mind for quite some time, but it's, it's really ramped up even more as we get closer to WrestleMania this year. Cody Rose was on the Ariel Helwani uh, podcast this week, and he said something that was quite, I guess you can say, important. It was, uh, it was a statement that he said, and I think a lot of us feel. He, and I'm going to paraphrase this. He essentially said, if he doesn't finish his story this year, if he does not beat Roman Reigns for the, the championship, the title this year, he might as well go over and move over to commentary, sit on commentary with Michael Cole and everybody. Because essentially, his character would be done. No one would care. And people, you know, would be over it. That came out of his mouth. And the fact that he said that is very, it's important to really dissect that. Because there's a lot of people that are saying, oh, Cody shouldn't win. Or Roman should retain. Roman should break Hulk Hogan's record. No. Cody knows his character is in jeopardy right now. We're at this crossroads where the biggest babyface in WWE right now must win this match. I know some of y'all want Roman to retain. I, I even saw some people say, oh, well, make room, Michael Cole, because Cody Rhodes is going to join you on commentary. But I want you to understand this. Certain things you just don't do. And you don't kill your top baby face. You don't. It doesn't make sense to. It, it, this doesn't enhance the story. I think people just don't want Roman to lose. And that's fine. That's okay. You've enjoyed what Roman has been doing as the tribal chief. That's awesome. He's been killing it. He will go down as one of the greatest of all time. Some people will call him the greatest. And I'm not going to get mad at them for that. I'm not. But you also got to understand that this story, this ride that a lot of us have been on, it literally would mean absolutely nothing if all of a sudden Cody just doesn't win again. It's a do or die situation. And you don't do this to your top baby face because essentially you ruin everything that he's done since he came back. Everything, all the matches and feuds he had, those will be great, but it won't matter because you would have told the audience that Cody is not the guy. Cody will never be the guy, and then that's it. Thanks for your attention and money. Now it's over. And you don't do that. You don't. Vince was known for doing that. Vince was known for telling us Telling the fans, hey, doesn't matter how much you like this guy. This is as far as it goes. We saw it with Dolph Ziggler. A lot of us love Dolph Ziggler and the work that he produced. It didn't matter. They only saw him at one level and that's it. And He wasn't going to get past that. Daniel Bryan's situation, that was just the perfect storm. CM Punk leaving, right place at right time. But ultimately... Vince still, no matter how much the fans wanted it, Vince still didn't really see it. But he rode the, the wave because, I mean, it was making him fucking money. Millions and millions of dollars. But ultimately, I don't think that happens if CM Punk doesn't leave. That was the right place, right time. Same thing with Kofi Kingston. In this situation, this is different. Because it started with Vince being in control and now Triple H is in control. And I just I just don't think Triple H would be the guy to bury one of his top talent. Whether you feel like Cody is a main eventer or whatever the case, he is. Whether you like it or not, he is. He's been the most one of the most protected wrestlers that's not a, a WWE champion of any sorts. He has barely taken any losses since he came back. 
He's always, for the most part, in high-profile feuds and matches and storylines. And he's been having some pretty good matches. And for the simple fact, he's like the ultimate babyface. And the parents and the kids and the adults, some of the guys, a lot of the guys out there, they love him. He's a good guy. He is. He's the ultimate babyface. Even when he had the opportunity to talk bad about AEW, he really didn't for the most part. Because he has love for those people that helped him start up AEW. He's the ultimate good guy. And they can make, they're already making millions off of him. They've been doing it. So the point I'm trying to make here is simple. You don't have this guy be at this level. He acts and operates like a world heavyweight champion. The way he's presentable, the way he, he moves and talks. Some people may like it, some people don't. But you can't deny he's one of the biggest assets in the company. He is. And for you to not put the to not reward him and put the championship on him. Cause some people felt like he didn't go through enough adversity. My man's been through enough adversity, if, if you ask me. It's been a whole year. You have him win the Royal Rumble again. You don't reward him and, and put the championship on him. You kill him. You kill his character. No one will care. It doesn't matter what championship he wins after that. No one will care. And that's not what you want to do. Because what's the point? I'm not about to buy no merch. The guy's not going to be presented as a winner. So what's the point? I'm, what that's when you start turning people off to the product itself in a sense because it's like damn you well what's the point granted i think the product would still be fine even if he didn't win because it's overall still been a you know they've been doing some great stuff over there in wwe but some people will just check out be like well it doesn't matter and that's the thing you don't want to do that in a sense of Killing one baby face, your top baby face to prop up a, a heel that's he's already damn near done it all except face the rock. That this is one of those things where it's like there's not much left for him to do other than break a fucking Hulk Hogan record. That no one cares about that. Some people do, but it's in the grand scheme of things, people still put him. Some people are putting him over Hulk Hogan. Some people look at him as better than Hulk Hogan could ever have been. So the record doesn't matter. That's all I'm saying. And plus, it opens up fresh matches and opportunities. So I'm, I'm putting this out there. You can call me a Cody, Cody Crybaby, whatever. I'm here to see new, fresh stories and lineups after WrestleMania. And Cody is the best, one of the best options they have. And it works. It works. The question is, will his title reign have some longevity to it? Will people eventually turn on him? Who knows? But I'd rather take a chance on fans turning on him at a later date than we don't have new fresh matchups because we essentially we, we would only have one championship on the show. And that's the World Heavyweight Championship. So honestly, to me personally, I think it's a must win. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Cody must win at this year's WrestleMania because if he doesn't, then Michael Cole, move on over. Put him on commentary because no one will ever care about him again. Because I, I, I want to put this out here. There's only so many times people can care about a character before they say, you know what? If management don't care, then why should we? So comment down below. Let me know. Do y'all agree with uh, my sentiments here that Cody must win? Or he might as well go to commentary, as he said. Or he might as well just leave WWE because there's no point. Or do y'all feel like he can eat this loss again and be perfectly fine? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. But I appreciate all love support. Road to 150K. And I'm still here on Speedy YouTube. Rest in the world. Appreciate y'all kicking to me. See you on the next one. Peace.